Number 15. I am dead. Time capsules are supposed to take you back in time. They're not supposed to send horrifying chills down your spine. But that's what a glass bottled time capsule found near a former elementary school in Albuquerque, New Mexico did to its unfortunate finders. The capsule from 1968 was discovered by a demolition crew. The letters encapsulated within were from kids, more than likely the kids that attended Montgomery Elementary. Most of the letters were about the youngsters' favorite bands and TV shows, but one of the children, by the name of Greg Lee Youngman, went a much more creepy route. The letter begins, I am dead. After which Greg goes on to say that he was born in 1900 and his favorite subject is spooking the police. The 10 year old signs off, see you later savages, considering the date of birth, the knowledge that Greg was 10 years old at the time of writing, and the fact that the capsule was buried in 1968. Well, you do the math. When the time capsule was opened, Several people in their 50s and 60s came by to see if it was their class time capsule that had been unearthed. Many left unsatisfied. It seems creepy that these things had been a favorite pastime at Montgomery Elementary. One wonders if Greg Lee Youngman was among the former students who showed up. Number 14 deep freeze. A hapless customer who purchased a freezer from her neighbor discovered something she probably wishes she hadn't. The North Carolina woman purchased the sealed freezer for $30 from her 56-year-old neighbor, Marcella Lee. Marcella told her not to remove the tape until some church members came by to collect the contents, which she said were for a Sunday school project. After a couple weeks passed with not a church member to be seen, the woman obviously didn't want to wait any longer to use the freezer she'd purchased. When she opened it up, she discovered a time capsule of sorts. The remains of Lee's mother, who had passed away from natural causes. Lee walked away from the deal with a felony charge, while the neighbor walked away with a tainted freezer. Number 13. Mental Hospital Found Footage when you come across a time capsule buried in the grounds of an abandoned mental hospital, you know it has to contain something unnerving. That's what construction workers found in Indiana when they dug up a time capsule from 1958. In it, they discovered footage with a group of people talking about what future psychiatric medication and electroshock therapy might look like. They believe that progression of psychiatric science would happen fast, the medical workers said. When future psychiatrists find this capsule, only then will it be possible to know how treatment problems were resolved, not only today but also in the future. Unfortunately, the tape's audio was damaged, so the conversation isn't complete, but we can assure these theorists that electroshock therapy did go through a transformation since this time capsule was buried in 1958. Specifically, new standards of consent were initiated, along with the recommendation of unilateral electrode placement. Number 12. Serial Killer's Trophies A man and his metal detector were navigating the woods when he likely expected to find treasure of some kind. What he didn't expect was to come across a time capsule in one of the most lurid variety. The man uncovered a plastic time capsule wrapped in tape and filled with a teddy bear, clothing, photos, a camera, and a girl's peewee softball medallion from 2003. In essence, a young girl's belongings. Well, one might hope that the girl buried the belongings herself. The man that recovered them felt creeped out enough about the discovery to report it to the park ranger. Why? Because they could very well be the trophies of a serial killer. They often often hold on to mementos of the people whose lives they've taken, and this so-called time capsule could possibly have been stashed away in the forest. The police did get back to the man to inform him that they believe the items were likely to be memorabilia of a time capsule left by their owner. Due to the fact that the area was highly populated, they did affirm that the items would be tested for DNA and run through the records of open cases to see if there were any matches. Couldn't find any further reports of this particular time capsule, but let's hope that the police's theory was correct.
Number 11, There Will Be Blood, a space art pioneer, French artist scientist Jean-Marc Philippe proposed the idea of this epic space-time capsule, which became known as the KEO. It would hold messages from planet Earth to the citizens of the future, the very distant future, 50,000 years from now to be exact. This is when the time capsule, once launched, will eventually re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. But messages aren't the only thing that will be launched with the satellite. A drop of human blood will be chosen at random and placed in a diamond, on which the human genome's DNA will be engraved. While this all sounds pretty cool, there's something exceptionally creepy about sending a drop of a random person's blood into space. Will it be used for cloning in the future? If so, maybe a random person isn't the best way to go. Number 10. Dear Diary have you ever found spine-tingling messages hidden around your home? When this woman decided to remodel her room, she certainly wasn't expecting it to be haunted by messages past. Well, this isn't a time capsule in the literal sense. It has a moment, a memory, captured in time by the children who once lived in this house. Lauren and Megan wrote their diary-like time capsule on the subfloor of their room. The two girls first introduced themselves quarterly, and then and cryptically warn the subsequent owners of this home from doing just what the new owner was doing, tearing up the floor. Why the warning? Who knows? But beneath, she found additional warnings, as well as a virtual diary of these girls' existence. One warning read, The house is green. If it was a different color, paint it green. Don't know why that's so creepy, but it just is. In other notes, the girls wrote about their passed away cat, an episode where Lauren broke her arm, and they even posted photographs of relatives and friends. While some of the notes may seem innocent enough, darkness crept into a few of the messages, including a photo of their mother, who, according to the girls, lived in their house at one point. One of them also said their family had a lot of disagreements, which led her to apologize for the dents in the walls. The girls warned against ghostly visits and claimed the ghosts especially didn't care for CSI New York. They also said their passed away granddad was prone to haunting the place and perhaps they do too. Number 9. Dante's Inferno When you dig into your family history, you would never want to find something deeply unsettling. That's what one Imgur user found when poking around his grandma's house. He came across a cupboard in her ceramics room that seemed to have a false bottom. It turns out that this false bottom concealed a safe. He told his grandmother about what he'd discovered, asking if she knew what it held or if she remembered the combination. She didn't know either, but she told him to go ahead and pry it open, which he did with a chisel. Inside was a time capsule, old and corroded, having been buried for years. They deducted that the time capsule had been concealed by the man's grandpa. Within was a black bag that included a seriously disturbing note, the message of which read, Abandon all regret ye who enter here. The line comes straight out of Dante's Inferno. The man entered the time capsule anyhow. Chinese calligraphy was written on the black bag, which when translated meant double happiness. A myriad of other items were inside including odds and ends. There was also a strange key without any clue as to what it belonged to. It seems the mystery to this time capsule does not end here. Do we dare enter further? Number 8. Atomic Bomb Fingernail when Panasonic and a newspaper company planted a time capsule at the Osaka Castle during the Japan World Expo in 1970, they wanted to ensure that the future knew all about the past. Even the most devastating parts, the electronic company eventually buried two time capsules, both with the same items inside. One was to be opened in the year 2000 and is said to be opened every century for inspection and cleaning. The other was designed to remain unearthed for 5,000 years. That's in 6970. The project's aim is to time travel, a visual record of life in 1970, with the capsules holding 2,098 objects each. 
including items recorded, such as civilization's achievements in the form of literature, arts and music, and everyday life in Japan, including the aspirations of ordinary and extraordinary people. Each of these items were preserved, using the most advanced preservation techniques at the time of burial. While most of the contents inside are pretty tame, including a slinky, and items belonging to natural and social sciences, others like glass eyes, and a black and fingernail from an atomic bomb survivor might have future peoples wondering, well, Hiroshima's devastation will probably serve as a reminder every hundred years as to the destruction of a nuclear bomb. A photograph could have also done the job. Number 7. Crystal Ball most time capsules, when found years later, tell a story about the past, but this one predicted the future. A time capsule from 1935, in the form of a lemonade bottle, revealed a note predicting dark days to come. The note was discovered during construction of some stonework at the UK's Southampton Guildhall in 2016. The predictions were written in pencil by three amateur fortune tellers, Fred Pierce, George Groves, and Stanley Jeffrey. Mussolini threatens war, they wrote. While Mussolini had already risen to power by 1935, it wasn't until 1940 that Mussolini's regime officially entered into the war on the side of Germany. Fortunately for Britain, Europe, and the entire world, Mussolini and the Axis powers' downfall came in 1945, ten years after this prediction was written. Mussolini himself was captured along with his mistress as he tried to flee to Switzerland. Number 6. Socialist Time Capsule It's Russia 2012 a message to the Soviet youth of the world in 2024 from the Soviets in the 1970s. What did these youths have to say to each other? Handwritten on a big sheet of paper, the message from comrades past offered encouraging words and confidence in its future readers that they'd be better than those writing the letter. We say to you, who will join us in 45 years, we do not feel sorry for ourselves because we are certain you will be better than us. Improve the world and yourself in the name of communism. This is just one of many time capsules placed beneath Lenin statues. During Soviet times, doing so was very popular. This particular capsule was found during some renovations of the foundation below the statue, coincidentally 33 years to the day that it was buried. The burial took place on July 15, 1979, and was rediscovered on July 15, 2012. The letter signs off, Lenin is always with us. Number 5. Old Missile Sometimes it's not the contents of a time capsule that are terrifying, rather it's container. In 2017, a World War II missile was discovered by crews in New York prompting police to evacuate the area between 21st Street and 5th and 6th Avenues as a bomb squad rushed in to investigate. But what they found was a time capsule with papers inside. The suspicious item in question really was a fake bomb painted green. The owner of a famous nightclub called Danceteria had purchased it from an Army-Navy store hung it from the nightclub ceiling in the 1980s, and later turned the thing into a time capsule. In 1984, photos and letters by New York creatives and trendsetters of the day were placed in the time capsules at the commencement party to be read 10,000 years later. Then the group buried the capsule under a parking spot in a nearby gravel lot, where the thing was pretty much forgotten. When a lieutenant with the NYPD bomb squad called, the owner more than three decades later, it wasn't with good news. The photos and letters inside the time capsule were largely destroyed as water had entered the bombshell. However, the news could have been worse. At least the squad wasn't dealing with something real. Number 4. Crystal Ball 2 Another time capsule that contained accurate predictions of the future was discovered this time in Sydney, Australia, hidden in the bathroom wall of a house in 1995. The predictions were written by Greg Wilkinson on Easter Sunday. The beginning of the letter lists the cost of milk and bread in 1995. 
and describes the laptop he composed the letter on. A 486 laptop with 5 megabytes RAM and a 240 megabyte hard drive. Greg then went on to discuss the politics and trends of the time. After which came his eerie predictions. He wrote that a holy war would be ignited and also wrote that China would become a superpower. Considering the nation was, at the time, behind many in terms of economic size, that was quite a surprising prediction to make. At present time, China's economy is second only to the United States. When Greg was contacted about the letter's discovery, he felt a little violated by its public revelation, but then he thought, all things considered, this just goes to show the progress of communication via the internet. Number 3. Crypt of Civilization This time capsule is a whole chamber known as the Crypt of Civilization. The name is creepy in and of itself, conceived by Thornwell Jacobs, aka the father of the modern time capsule, and inspired by the 1920s excavations of the Egyptian pyramid and tombs. The chamber was sealed airtight between 1937 and 1940 when it was built at Brookhaven, Georgia, and designed to be reopened in 8113 AD. The date was so chosen because 6,177 years had passed between the conception of the Egyptian calendar in 4241 BC, a date that has since been discredited, and the year of Jacob's conception of the crypt in 1936 AD. Thus, for some reason, Jacob's thought 6,177 years into the future from 1936 was symbolic. Thus, 8113, at 2,000 cubic feet, the chamber is situated in the granite bedrock of the Gothic-style Phoebe Hearst Memorial Hall. The room is chock full of documents and artifacts, many of which were donated to the crypt and sealed by a welded stainless steel door. Some of the scariest facts included come in the form of voice recordings, specifically those of dictators. Perhaps the crypt's creators want to ensure the future knows truly about the heart of darkness and civilization's past. In fact, Jacobs wrote in his note for future excavators of the crypt, the world is engaged in burying our civilization forever, and here in this crypt we leave it to you. Hopefully our civilization isn't buried forever too soon. Number 2. World War II Time Capsule What kind of memorabilia would you expect to find buried in a time capsule at a former German training center? The time capsule is said to have been buried deep in the cement in 1934 during the building's construction, perfectly preserving the horrors of the past, along with newspaper clippings, old coins, a historical book of the town, and pictures of the dictator. Although researchers have long known the capsule was there, they had to bypass German mines, concrete, and groundwater to get to it. When they finally did, they still had to take a chainsaw to it to find out what was inside. If you're the type who wishes to bury the past, this is one time capsule you'd probably like to leave deep in the dirt, where it belongs. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a small mixtape and I'd love to know what you think of it. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then tap my mixtape to give it a listen. It's also linked in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. Mummified Remains A mysterious steam trunk was discovered in 2010 by two women cleaning out an apartment building basement, and it appeared to be like a time capsule from the 1930s. But most mysterious and creepy of all were the mummified remains of two babies. An investigation discovered that the trunk's owner was Janet M. Barry. 
who immigrated to America from Scotland in the 1920s and passed away in 1992. Early on, some thought the owner might be linked to J.M. Barry, the author of Peter Pan, but despite the fact that the trunk also contained Peter Pan memorabilia, that theory was ruled out. Why were the babies placed inside the trunk? And whose were they? The answer was left up to LA Police Chief Charlie Beck, who continued his investigation, saying, Justice, even when delayed, is still justice. As it turned out, after testing DNA samples with living relatives, Janet was in fact the mother of the two babies, but it is still unclear why she kept these babies' remains. You don't know the real story behind the story, you know what I mean. Her nephew, Holmes, said, You can only speculate, and speculate we will. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or, if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!